We finally got a new release, 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. Let's do it. All right, guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Like I said, this is uh, actually the day after release day. I got my box a little bit late, but uh, nevertheless, we do have one hobby box to open. Going to get into it now. There's a lot of packs in here, a lot of cards to get through, so I'm going to try to make this as quick and painless as possible. Unfortunately, this is a product you have to be a little bit uh, detail-oriented on because there's a lot of parallels, a lot of variations you can get, and uh, I really don't know all of them, so uh, that's what we're going to try to find today. And starting off nice, we got this box topper, uh, Ellie De La Cruz rookie card. This is the 1975 design. I'm personally not a fan of this design uh, for whatever reason. It just doesn't appeal to me too much, but I do like Ellie, so I'll stick that up there. And uh, we'll just get right into this. Looking for one hit per box, one chrome card per box. Um, not really a product you get a huge return on typically, so uh, more just to, to see what it's all about, have some fun, and maybe hit a nice rookie card. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Like I said, 1975 design, a uh, lot of colors going on here. It's Evan Diaz, he's back for my Mets. Here's our first rookie, it's uh, Angel Felipe. Uh, I've never heard of him. A few guys in here I've never heard of, they'll probably be in Series 2, so that's cool. Um, we got a Cabert Ruiz on the back, Yogi Berra. Uh, there are short prints in here this year. I think they did a low number where it's numbers 1 through 100 are the short prints. They're not uh, super rare or anything like that, but they are a little bit harder to get than the regular base cards. Justin Martinez, probably just pick out some of the rookies in here. D Days Bell Hernandez, so we're 0 for 3 on rookies I've heard of. Schwarber, hopefully we can hit a nice Evan Carter or Ronnie Mauricio here. Those are probably the two guys I'm chasing besides like Ellie and Jade on for the hype. There are a bunch of different parallels. Looks like we have a relic in here that's going to be our hit in this box, unfortunately. Um, we'll see what it is anyway. We got a Gray Kessinger, another guy I haven't heard of, Kyle Leahy, Sparky Anderson, and it's a Charlie Blackman Clubhouse Collection back card, not a parallel or anything like that. Like I said, not a product you're going to get a very great return on, unfortunately. But wanted to get a box anyway. Maybe I'll do another one after this. We'll see. Do have a nice local card shop here for the next month or so. That's part of why I haven't been getting too many videos up. I've been really busy uh, moving my parents into a new house. And then next month i got to move out again to an apartment. So lots going on. Um, there's a Jared Triolo rookie. AL champions of the Rangers, the adults right there. Edgar Navarro, Jacob Young, lots of rookies I haven't heard of in here. Bryson Stott. So there are black border parallels in here to 50. Um, there are white border parallels this year, apparently. I don't really know how short printed those are. Here's a nice rookie I've heard of, Jordan Westberg. He's doing pretty well for the Orioles. Uh, Osvaldo Beto. Nice Jacob deGrom. And here's our chrome for the, the box. It looks like it's a refractor and possibly a silver. Uh, let's see what it's all about. So the Pirates could be a rookie still. And it is Henry Davis. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, I don't like that they numbered these on the front this year. I don't know if you can see that. It's numbered, uh, what is that, 63 out of 375. I don't like that it's on the front. Usually in years past, it's on the back. It would be like down here um, or something like that. But... Nonetheless, pretty nice. We got a silver chrome refractor of Henry Davis. Pretty sweet. He had a really good spring training, and I don't think he's been doing too well to start the season, but definitely has all the potential and could be a really nice catcher for the Pirates. Not sure how many other options they have right now, but uh, hopefully he can start hitting a little more. So two, two, our two guaranteed hits, I think those are both guaranteed out of here. So I guess we're just kind of hunting for parallels at this point. Uh, I do need to check the backs of these for images and all that kind of stuff. I think they're towards the back if you get a parallel like that. Um, but there's a nice Ronnie Mauricio rookie. Let's see if that's anything. I don't think so, but we'll stick it aside. Uh, here's a New Age Performers insert of Austin Riley. I forgot to finish that pack with the Chrome. We hit a one Soda one of those as well. And then a couple rookies here. Oh my goodness, Nick Lofton and then Oslavis Basabe. Hope I was close on that, goodness. Let me just go through briefly and check some of these. So on these, I believe if it's a parallel, it'll have some words above the number there, um, like image or color or whatever they typically would do there. I haven't noticed anything too crazy, but a lot of times they are pretty tough to notice in Heritage, so definitely worth going back through. 
Didn't see anything there, so keep going. And really psyched about that Henry Davis. That might be one to send off to the grader. I don't know uh, condition-wise how it is, but it's a pretty sweet-looking card, at least. Uh, Andrew Abbott's nice rookie for the Reds. Luis Arias on the All-Star. Some of these are All-Star cards. Um, looks like it's... Oh, no, okay, so that's just another base behind this. There's a Yuri Perez, uh, Lane Ramsey rookie, and then another New Age performers of Harper, and then Gregory Soto. Uh, yeah, so lots of packs in here. Uh, I think it's 24 packs, tons of cards per pack, so uh, definitely a longer rip, and you don't get too much, which is why a lot of people don't uh, rip a ton of this, at least on camera. Uh, so there's another nice World Series insert there. <laughs> Carlos Rodon, New Age Performers of Freeman, and uh, Mark Canna on the Pirates. Like I said, I haven't ripped a ton of Heritage in my in my past, so I'm not familiar with all of the parallels here, but uh, if you guys happen to notice anything, please let me know. Here's one turned around. I think this will be one of the low number short prints. It's going to be a, a Harrison Bader, who's now a Met. It's pretty cool. And you can see, yeah, number 43 there. It's going to be one of the one to 100 short prints. Tell Marte, he's hot. Jose Tena, rookie. Willier Abreu, another World Series of Simeon there. Got Alejandro Kirk, is that something? Nope, we got another short print here, Mackenzie Gore. And then Emerson Hancock, rookie, that's not too bad. Still looking for Evan Carter, Ellie, out of here on the base. Did hit a Ron Mauricio, that was nice. There's a Mason Wynn, that's a nice one. Decent shortstop for the Cardinals. Uh, there's the Henry Davis base. You can see we got the chrome back there. Bentendi Jacob Lopez, rookie. And then we do have another short print here of Stanton. He's a low number. And Clark Schmidt. So I, I guess I'll go over these. There's a few of these you've probably seen in here. This is the... Uh, MVP insert. It'll give uh, the MVPs for each year, and then it'll give their card from a uh, flagship, I guess, from that year. So you can see there's the Chris Bryant and the Trout from 2016. I think it's pretty cool, especially if you get uh, one time like a rookie was a rookie of the year, or uh, MVP, I mean. That'd be pretty sweet. Hagen Danner. T Taylor Coley. Uh, oh, sweet. Here's a white border. Uh, let me... Take from the back here, Alec Bohm, and then let's see what this white border is. Another pirate. Could it be another Davis? No, this one's going to be Brian Reynolds. He actually just hit his what, 100th home run the other day. So that's pretty cool. I like these white borders a lot. I would love to get one of these of uh, Carter or uh, Ellie, one of the rookies. Really, really dig that. I wish they made the, the chromes white. I really do. Or at least have like a white chrome variation. I can't confirm that they don't, I guess, but they never have before except for in 2020, and that's because the card design was all black anyway. Uh, you can't really do a black chrome refractor. It just look the same as the, the regular chrome. So uh, those were really sick. I wish they would do a white chrome every year. Uh, Noel V. Marte, he's suspended still. Prelander Baroa, Owen White, tons of rookies in this pack. Patrick Wisdom, there's an Encarnacion Strand. He's a good one. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's a Taiwan Walker on the back, Jason DeLay. I think this is a black and white parallel. Uh, yeah, so you can see above the number there, B and W. It's going to be a black and white. Pretty cool there. I don't know how uh, rare those are. I don't think they're too crazy. I remember pulling one or two of those in the past. Sad seeing him on the Phillies. I did like him when he was on the Mets. Um, not much you can do about it. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more nice cards out of here. Emmett Sheehan on the rookie. Jonathan Ornelas, World Series card there. Uh, Jeremy Pena, get these rookies down. We got Elaine Thomas on the short print there. And Brian Reynolds, base. Jordan Wicks. Colton Kowser, it's a nice rookie. I'll take that. Lorenzen Pereira, and then Brett Beatty. Oh, please tell me that's something. Ah, okay, I think it's just a base card. I would love to get a nice Beatty parallel. I'm a huge Beatty fan. He's having a great start to the season right now. I've been a huge Beatty fan since he got called up, you know, watching him, and he had a down year last year uh, in his, his rookie season, so a lot of people were off of him, but I, I picked some of his stuff up in the offseason, and now he's, he's showing everybody what he's all about, so I'm super pumped for him. Uh, Trey Cabbage, rookie there. Ryder Ryan. Rookie, 
got Jose for me. This is another white border. Wow, it is. Okay, so these aren't super rare. Should be able to get something nice if we open a couple boxes of this. Uh, there's a Jose for me. This one's for the Tigers. It's going to be Tarek Skubal. Another white border. So probably one or two per box on average, I would imagine, unless we get another one, and then I don't know what I'm talking about. I thought these were going to be a little more rare, like one per box kind of thing, but still really cool they have them in the first place, especially because I don't like the multicolored design of 75. Having that all white border really helps the appeal for me. I've really liked the last three or so years of Heritage. I didn't like 2020, but uh, 21, 22, 23, I really liked. So uh, Reese Olsen isn't bad. He's a nice pitcher. Uh, Inner Cano Cup card, Hunter Goodman. And then I don't know what's going on. This is another insert, I think. Yeah, okay, so there's uh, Christian Walker, Brandon Woodruff. This is a news flashbacks. Uh, construction on the Transatlantic Pipeline that begins, and that's March 9th. I don't know what the uh, significance is. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just about the <laughs> pipeline. I don't really know. I guess just stuff that happened in 1975. That would make a lot of sense. Kind of a random one to have, but... Luckily, Heritage doesn't have a ton of that kind of stuff, so you're mostly getting baseball. Uh, Perez, British, the Yoshida Cup cards, nice. Jose Rodriguez, rookie. I think you have another flashback in this one. Uh, 2023 is a nice one. You can see the Otani and the Acuna 2023 Tops base cards there for the MVPs. Alika Williams, rookie, and uh, baseball flashbacks. This one's going to be first rookie to win AL MVP award. Okay, so there he goes. That uh, Eddie Murray, maybe? Can't even tell. Oh, Fred Lynn. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Fred Lynn fans. I'm not, I don't do a lot of vintage. I haven't seen too many of those older guys. Uh, Joey Wendell in a Mets uniform. I'm surprised they have him in the Mets there. That's kind of cool. Maybe six or so packs to go. I'll try to wrap this up. Keep it under 20 for sure. Uh, hoping for another parallel or two here. We'll see. I got to go back through some of these, I'm sure. Jordan Adams there. Uh, I wonder if that's something. The name's red. I just noticed that. On that Charlie Blackman. Let's see. No, yeah. maybe so. Oh no, they're just different on some of them. Okay, I just noticed that. Lange, we got Alec Jacob rookie. Here's the event and now insert. Jim Palmer and Blake Snell. Of course, Blake Snell is not a uh, Padre anymore. Goodness, can't even think of the team. And Taylor Rogers on the back. I'll go back through these right after I finish and check to see if we got anything else. Uh, variation wise really tough to do it while you're ripping there's so many packs to go through can't zone meadows so many rookies in here there's a nice otani we'll make sure that's not a parallel or a variation there's a baseball flashbacks hank aaron breaking the ruth rbi record it's a cool one patrick bailey second year Mookie, Morrell, Zach Remillard, rookie. Here's another low number short print of Kevin Newman for the Reds. And a nice Heston Kirstein on the back. That's another nice Orioles rookie there. Three packs left. Let's see if we can have any buzzer beaters here. Nice Nolan Shonwell rookie. RBI leaders from last year. Alex Spies. Dansby Swanson, Juan Yepes is a low number. Jordan Romano. So you know the short print on this one, so I'm not going to have anything too crazy. Jackson Wolf, rookie. Matt McLean Cup card, Shintaro Fujinami, who's currently a Met, I believe. I don't think he got DFA'd or traded or anything. And our last pack of the box here. Really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the new heritage. It looks like it's going to be another short print. Spencer Horwitz. No Carter rookies. No Ellie rookies, unfortunately. And uh, 23 highlights. No hitter for, I believe that's Michael Lorenzo when he went to the Phillies. <laughs> yep. Home debut. Got a no hitter. That was pretty crazy. But uh, that was our box. Do a little recap here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, got bigger hits out of the way early, but some nice stuff. A couple white borders of Scooble and Brian Reynolds. Uh, Taiwan Walker, black and white. Our hit was a Charlie Black and back card. And our probably best card of the box was this Henry Davis Silver Chrome Refractor rookie. Number, oh, it's number on the front, geez. 
uh, to 375. Tough to see, but really, really nice looking card there. I like that a lot. So, again, appreciate you guys watching. I'll have some of the new Topps Chrome Black that's coming out next week, uh, I guess in about a week. So, stay tuned for that, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. Oh.